short stop. I've been summoned to work by Ron Dixon, so it looks as if the food fair's going to have to wait. How are you? OK, look, Belle, I'm sorry to have burdened you last night with my problems. I, I'd worked myself up into a state. Look, you didn't burden me with anything. I'm just glad you told me. I just wish there was something more I could do. Oh, thanks, but I'm all right. I, I feel better after talking to you. Oh, that'll be Julia. Well, look, if ever you want to talk, you know where I am. Thanks, Belle. It's only me. Oh, how are you, love? Hi. <laughs> See you, Susanna. Take care. Bye. Oh, do you know, I'm dying to know if it's true that her two children went off to live and sit together, but I'm not one to fry. I am. Um... I don't suppose she uh, mentioned anything to you, did she? No, not a thing. Oh. Are you all right, love? You look a bit peaky. I'll make you a nice coffee. Eh? No, thanks, Julia. I'll do it. Could you make a start upstairs? Right, yeah, love. Daddy, just Absolutely sure you don't mind me going out for a drink with Ollie? No, oh, of course I am. It'll do you good to get out. You could go around and see Belle. Yes, good idea. Good. Right, well, um, I won't be long. I'm, I'm only going out for a couple of drinks anyway. It's all right, and start as long as you like. I love you. I know you do. See you later. I wanted to be fancy some company with the men out. 
Oh, Bella, I was just going to bed. I fancy an early night. Oh, right. Um, is everything all right? Fine. Just a bit tired. Oh, well, get a good night's sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello? Susanna? Oh. She must still be over with Belle. Oh, no, she's not. Look, see, her keys are still here. Um, look, perhaps she's asleep. Maybe I should just get home. No, no, it's all right. I'll just nip up, see if she is still asleep. Um, you get the wine. There's some Chardonnay in the fridge. Right. Susanna? Susanna? Susanna. Oh my God. Susanna. Susanna. Holly. Holly. Come on, Susanna. Come on, darling, wake up. She's taking an overdose. We've got to get her to the hospital. Have you felt her pulse? No, I can't feel anything. Look, I'll follow an ambulance. Yeah, all right, mother. Well, the telephone's downstairs. Come on, please. Oh. What do I do? Just try and keep her moving. <clears throat> Darling, come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, let's get you downstairs. Uh, ambulance, please. Wake up. It's my friend's wife. Um, she's taking an overdose. Can I take you downstairs? Can I get you to the hospital? Oh, no, I don't know what she's come taking. On, uh, some sort of pills, I think. Come on, sweetheart. Number seven, Brookside Close. Come on, Susanna. Come on, Tony. Come on. Oh, oh. No! no. Are you okay? It's all right, darling. Oh, oh, oh darling. Please, please don't die. feeling. Why? So you could talk me out of it, save my life. If I'd have been an hour later. Then I wouldn't be here now. Why, Max, why did you have to find me? I don't know. Uh, must have been fate. Same kind of fate that took our children away from us. <sighs> Why didn't you just leave me? Susanna, please don't say that. I didn't want to be found. I really didn't. I wanted to die. Why didn't you just let me die? Going up in the front door. Hiya. Hello. How are you? Fine. Can't make its mind up today, can it? No, no, it can't. Anyway, I'll um, I'll see you. I suppose everyone knows. Well, you know what it's like round here. It's not worth worrying about. I didn't say I was worried. I couldn't care less what the neighbours think. Hi. How are you feeling? Fine. Did you manage to sleep at all? 
Not really. I must be fed up resting all the time. Can I get you anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thank you. Well, how about something to eat? You must be really starving. I, I could fix you up something nice. Max, I don't want anything. Sorry. Last thing you want is me fussing around. I'm going to go and lie down again. How are you feeling? You must really hate me. <sighs> no, I don't hate you. Why are you saying that? It's all right. You don't have to pretend. I'm not pretending. I love you more than anything in the world. You and Patricia were perfectly happy living here with Thomas and Alice. And I come along and ruin everything. It wasn't like that. I came to you, remember? When things were so bad between Patricia and I, you were the only one I could talk to. Yes, but I was always there in the background, wasn't I? Refusing to let go, making things as difficult as possible for you. And now you've lost everything. It's all because of me. That's not true. It is. If I'd stayed away, none of this would have happened. You'd still have Thomas and Alice. And I'd still have Matthew and Emily. Don't say that. What's happened has happened. It was an accident. It could have been anyone. You've got to stop blaming yourself. Why? I was the one driving that car. I was the one who'd been drinking. You've got to stop torturing yourself like this, Susanna. You weren't even over the limit. You're not the only one who has the odd glass of wine and gets into a car. I've done it myself, for God's sake. On more occasions than I care to remember. Most people have. Yes, but you got away with it. You never killed anyone. I hope they do prosecute me. It's what I deserve. I should lock me up and throw away the key. You've got to stop thinking like this. Why? It's the truth, isn't it? I can do what they like to me. I've got nothing worth living for. We've got each other. Surely that's something worth living for. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And if we do still have each other, I know we can get through this. You keep trying to convince me that things will get easier. That there's some light at the end of the tunnel when I know there isn't. It's easy for you to say. You've still got your other family. You can go running back to them when things get bad here. I've tried to see some kind of a future for myself. I've tried to convince myself that... One day I'll just pick up the pieces and carry on where I left off, but I know I'm fooling myself. I don't want to carry on. I don't want to get over it. I want to be with my children. I want to be dead. <laughs> 